Well, what is up, YouTube? We are back again. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I've done a video. Well, at least I uploaded a video. I uh, got a couple videos that I have put together. I got to uh, do a little bit of tweaking to. Unfortunately, when I did the videos, my audio didn't work. No, God, please, no, no, no. Fucking GoPro video, no audio. It really sucks too because I think there would have been, you know, pretty cool. But, you know, eh, it is what it is. Anyways, well, some of you guys have seen on my Instagram that I've been uh, still trying, was trying to figure out what in the hell was going on. I've been fighting with this thing for uh, over a year now, trying to get it to run right. Just issue after issue. And a uh, little backstory on this bad boy. I uh, picked it up from a buddy. He used to ride and then uh, he just stopped. You know, one of those things that he didn't have anybody to ride with, so he got like really bored with it. He let it sit for about you know, two and a half years. Some of you guys know what happens when you let a carburetor sit for too long. Uh, fuel inside of it goes bad, gums everything up. And uh, you know, the wonderful powers that be decided to put ethanol on everything. And uh, yeah. Ethanol is, uh, gets really nasty when it sits for too long. It starts, uh, the gas evaporates, but the ethanol sticks around. It turns into like this gummy, molasses, nasty shit. You crack it open and just get that, that smell of just nastiness. Anyway, so when I got the bike, it wouldn't even run. And uh, first time working on carburetors, and not just one carburetor, this bastard's got four carburetors. And it's like, oh, bro, fucking, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to, you know, use the fucking tutorials on YouTube and doing all kinds of Google searches, just trying to, you know, basically finger fuck my way through the uh, rebuild of these things. And uh, unfortunately, when I uh, when I did it, I didn't have a. I mean, again, I didn't have a clue what I was doing, so I missed all kinds of crap. You know, I got the bike running. I mean, it wasn't running great. I figured while I was in there, I put in a jet kit because this jet kit is supposed to, you know, solve all these issues. You know, it's supposed to be the wonder fix. And I put it in, and. It solves some of the issues, but not all of them. So, so this weekend, I was like, you know what? I didn't do it right the first time. I'll go through there and uh, and redo everything. Well, no sooner did I do that, that uh, all hell broke loose. Put the back carbs back together, put them on the bike, just start dumping gas, just pissing gas everywhere. Out the overflows and the cylinders, I mean, flooding out the you know, the cylinders when I was trying to run it. I mean, it was just, it was a hot mess. I was so frustrated. What was happening was, is these needle jets were leaking. Luckily, a uh, store around locally had the parts on yesterday, which was Sunday. They were open, they had the parts, went up there, fucking bought them. God damn things were $75, 25 bucks, or like 20 bucks a piece. They wanted, they, it would have been like 90 bucks. Well, out of the, just a wild hair out of my ass, I asked them if they price match, because I find them online, they're like 15 bucks. It's a whole assembly. And they did. I got them down to 75 bucks. I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. I mean, still, it's like, I think it's still way too damn much, but you know, whatever. Anyways, threw them in. All paranoid as shit, put the carbs back in, fucker runs. I mean, you see me riding it right now, so obviously it runs. But it doesn't just run. Listen to how smooth that is. Listen to how smooth that is. Look at that. Look at that. 
I'm still trying to find whatever over he up here is freaking rattling like a tin can. I did uh, find this morning when I was uh, checking my tire pressure that uh, one of the bolts on my fender was uh, was loose. So I wonder if part of the vibration was that. But I think my windscreen is what's causing it. I think I'm getting a little bit of rattle in there. So, but, I mean, look, dude, look at that. Look at that. Look at that fucker idle. Look at that idle. Dude, fly as a fucking board. You know, still, still dialing it in. I, I'm still trying to do a little bit of tweaking. I got so excited last night. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to stop here. Running good. I mean, listen to that. Oh. Starts up real good, and I'm about to pull onto the gas station here, so you guys will actually be able to hear how it starts now. Oh my god, it's fucking amazing. Who knows, maybe my gas mileage will even go up now. I mean, I was getting pretty good gas mileage, but watch this shit. Oh, watch this shit. No throttle. Just hit the button. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, it's never done that. Never, ever, 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 ever done that. Engine sounds great. Right, look at that. Look, listen to how smooth that is. Listen to how smooth that is. Oh my god. I wish I replaced those fucking parts a long time ago. But, you know, you live and learn. And, oh. It's just there, like it's solid across the across the board finally. Now this is what I was expecting out of this bike. And yeah. Feels really good now. So glad I was able to get this bitch running though. But uh yeah. But I think I'm gonna cut it here. I'm trying to keep my uh trying to get my videos a little bit shorter. Just a little bit shorter. But uh if you like what you see, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, tickle that little bell that's, I don't know, probably down there somewhere. But, uh, or it's over there. I don't know. Anywho, until the next one, I will see you there. I'm Jester on two, saying, see ya! What else could he be but a Jester? Well, that sucks. You will see that right there? <sighs> I guess the ju next uh, step in Jester's garage is going to be uh, redoing some forks. Fun. Get one thing fixed and ten more issues pop up.